Hello and welcome to Empowering Voices. My name is Morris Adams. Empowering Voices is a special program where we bring what's going on in your neighborhood, in your community, into your living room. I like to bring people in your living room that once you meet them, you'll want them to be your friends for life. I believe today we're gonna have a fun program and you're gonna meet somebody that you're really gonna wanna know for the rest of your life. I'd like to start our program today by saying this. <clears throat> have you ever met someone or had a conversation with someone and during the conversation, you found out what you were hearing was more important than what you had to say? Have you ever met someone and during the time while you were talking to them, you asked yourself, what else don't I know? Today, I'm gonna to introduce you to a person that did these things for me and I believe they'll do the same thing for you. I'm gonna introduce you to such a person that when you get to know them, you're gonna to wanna to know more and more and more and more about what they know. I think we're gonna have some fun today. The reason why I say these things is my guest is a curator of a special program for how to keep your brain sharp. How many people want your brain to be increased or boosted or, 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 or uplifted? How many people want that? I know when I was talking to her, I said, I gotta have that. I needed to know more and more and more. I wanna bring into our guest, uh, our, uh, Bernice, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, thank you, Morris. That was sweet. My name is Bernice Hunt and I am a brain health specialist. I'm a certified brain health professional and that's what I'm doing these days. And I'm so very excited about it, but I'm also married to a wonderful husband named Oliver and I have 16 grandkids, one great granddaughter and another great grandchild, I don't know, son or daughter on the way. So I have a full family and rich life. I'm joy. And that's part of why I do what I do. I want to impart that not just to my family. I want my family's brain to stay sharp and I want my brain to stay sharp for all of them. And I also want to impart it to anyone else that wants that same information that I want. So that's where I am here in Southern California, retired school teacher for 30 years. I am um, being a wellness coach for over 12 years and I tweaked my business from just being a generalized wellness coach after I retired from teaching to being a brain health specialist. And I'm loving every minute of it. Well, I heard you say brain health specialist. How did you, 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 you spoke a little bit about it. How did you get into the brain boosting business? Tell us a little bit about that. Okay. Well, I have to admit, was, have you ever, done something because you were kind of scared into doing it <laughs> you were frightened something frightened you and it made you make another turn made you do something different that's basically what happened to me <laughs> both me and my husband experienced some things first my husband like I told you I was already a um, wellness coach okay and my husband experienced um, he, was, he contracted sepsis and was hospitalized and part of the symptoms that he had was he, he lost his mind, basically. He could not function. He, he could not speak English. He spoke gibberish. He would, made no sense. And he, he was hospitalized. He's in ICU for, um, for several days and then in the hospital for several more weeks after that. But during that time, I got just a smidgen of what people that have loved ones or family members that have a broken brain, that have Alzheimer's, dementia, or whatever, what they experienced. I just got a little taste of it and it was not good. It was not a good experience at all for me. And I was just like devastated. And my thought was, wow, I was, I was fortunate in that I only had to deal with it for a couple of weeks. But you know that there are people's lives and they're dealing with it ongoing for years and years. And I said, wow, what, what can we do? Because I know there's no medical cure right now. They don't have a medical cure for it. So 
you know, what, what can you do to prevent it, to slow it down, to help it, to restore whatever you can. So that got me from just generalized wellness coaching specifically into the brain. And then I had something happen to me. And you know how, I don't know if you know, but you know, stress is a trigger for a lot of things. And that time that my husband was in the hospital was a very stressful time for me. And after he got out of the hospital and we were back home and all that, and God bless him, he's recovered and all of that. And I'm very fortunate and grateful. But a few weeks later, I started having some brain issues, memory lapses. I'm driving down the road and all of a sudden I don't know where I am for like three or four seconds, but I could not deny the fact that I was, I didn't know where I was and I was around the corner from my house. I couldn't have told you how to get home if you'd paid me in those three or four seconds. I was no landmarks look familiar. I didn't know what was going on. I just kept driving scared as I don't know what. And then it came back to me where I was. That scared me. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that scared me. <laughs> it got me looking and say, okay, this is not normal. I didn't tell anybody about it for a couple of years. I didn't tell anyone about it until I started doing these classes. My husband didn't even know because I was scared of what people were going to say. I didn't want to hear it. But anyway, so that got me into this business. And I'm so fortunate. I'm so glad I did. And I don't have, I've had not those experiences for years now, several years now, but I'm so glad I did because now I know how to help people that are in those kind of situations be better. Now, you, you said so many wonderful things. One, that whenever someone in the household has an issue with the brain, it affects the entire household. Two, I heard you say that when someone has something happen to their brain, they go silent instead of scream. They don't let people know while this issue is going on, they try to hide it. Now, I know from personal experience, I, I re, when you said what you said, I remember one day I was, I came home from fishing. I was in the fog. I was right around the corner from the house, but I could not find the house and the fear overtook me. And I had to talk to myself and coach myself into relaxing and releasing the fear so that I said, if I have to go walk door to door, I'm going to find my house. And once I got a hold of my confidence and the fear left, I was in greater control. But yes, fear can take you into a place you never thought you'd go. But there's another thing that you said. You said you believe that with a little help, the brain can be elevated. Yes. yes. That is a tremendous statement. Tell us a little bit more, if you would. That is so exciting. As I was studying, you know, in my studies to become certified as a brain health specialist, when I found that out, I was just elated because one of the things the doctors kept telling us was that it's never too early and never too late to start doing things for your brain, taking better care of your brain. And also the brain, the brain has what's called plasticity. That means it it can move, it's change its shape. They had us read a book. Well, they recommended to read a book. And so I'm a book worm. So of course I got the book. And this book was about the boy with, the boy with half a brain. And it was a story about a little boy that was having all kinds of seizures. And the, the book was written by his physician. But anyway, he was having all kinds of seizures when he was like three or four years old. I mean, every, every few seconds. And so at at that time, they decided that what they would try and do was to remove half his brain. They didn't know if it was kill him. They didn't know what kind of shape he's going to be when they did that, but they knew that that was the only chance they had of stopping all these seizures. And so they did it when he was like three or four years old. This little boy with half his brain gone, not only learned how to walk and talk, he went to school, graduated from high school, went on to college. He didn't graduate from college because he's, you know, but a lot of us don't graduate from college. So that's not anything about him having half a brain in my opinion. But anyway, he didn't graduate from college, but he got a job and he became a, a you know, productive citizen with half a brain. How did he do? And that's when they start looking at the brain thoroughly and realize that the brain can manipulate itself and change itself to do what it needs to do. If you give it, the things that it needs. And so that's wow. what I try to do. I try to educate people on the things that your brain needs 
So you can start giving it to you, giving it to them and give your brain what it needs to heal itself and not giving it things that hurt it. And that's basically what the training's about. Can you tell us a little bit of some of what those things are? Okay, I create, yeah, I created an acronym and it's NEEDS, N-E-E-D-S. And I decided to, to do that. You know, I'm teaching for 30 years. You have to come up with all kinds of tricks and stuff to help people remember stuff, right? So I'm, I'm good at doing things like that. So I came up with an acronym, NEEDS, and it stands for nutrition, exercise, engagement, de-stressing, and sleep. And so if you can remember that word needs and focus on those areas, you're going to be giving yourself a better brain. So no, you didn't say anything about a pill. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> but let me just say though, in the world that we live in, most of us, if not all of us do need some kind of supplementation just because of what we've done with our food and whatever, you know? I mean, you need the vitamin D, why? Because we don't, our behaviors don't take us out into the sun a lot, you know, and the fish is contaminated. Well, we don't even go there. But so you need vitamin D supplements, you know, you need vitamin B complex because a lot of people are, you know, vegetarian or vegan or whatever, whatever. So I'm not saying you don't need supplements, omega threes and things people are showing on. So you need to know though what you could be deficient in. But in terms of a magic bullet, type of pill. I mean, you see all these things on TV and whatever, all these commercials about what's going to get that brain, you know, yes. back together, take this. Th no, no. Well, it sounded like you said there were that uh, you, some of the inducement for uh, enhancing your brain is within our power, within our reach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And that's, that's what's so exciting. And that's what's so exciting me as I learn more and more, all the researchers are talking about lifestyle. Not to say that, you know, the pharmaceuticals, I'm sure they are still trying to do stuff in terms of appeal for Alzheimer's or whatever. They're still working on that, believe me. But the researchers are talking about lifestyle because with the research, and some of these doctors have been researching for eight, 10, you know, 20 years or whatever, and they're seeing evidence of lifestyle changes affecting the brain and how the brain's working, how the brain is improving and all of that. And that was so very exciting to me because, you know, we don't know what we don't know. So tell me, you know, what I need to do so I can make an educated decision. You still, you know, you are still free moral agent. You can do whatever you want to do, but mm -hmm. let me know what the possibilities are and let me make an educated choice, you know? And so that's what we try to do. Okay, well, here's where I want to educate myself. Um, you are a certified holistic health practitioner. Mm -hmm. Could you give me um, a common sense understanding of what the difference between holistic medicine and traditional medicine? Is there something that, that I can understand? Yeah, well, unfortunately, in my opinion, um, they have gone, they have sliced up, you know, the, the, the doctors so much to become so specialized in a certain area. And you'll get, it, it, for example, when my mom was alive and she had like four or five different doctors, a doctor for this, a doctor for that, or a doctor for this, and they were all prescribing different things, right? For that specific thing need that she had. But what happened was, all those medications cause a bigger problem. Her kidneys shut down, at which point they all said they stopped taking everything because they didn't realize the effect this was gonna have on this because they weren't taking in the whole body. They were just looking at this one organ or this other organ and they were very specialized in that organ, but they weren't taking in what was happening. And our body, you know, they say like, no man is an island. You know, your heart is not an island. Your kidney is not an island. You know, it is functioning and your brain, it's functioning in with every other organ. And if you do something, the one thing just to say, there has a gut brain connection, you know, there's different microbiomes. There's a microbiome in your mouth. There's one in your gut. There's one on your skin. There are different things and they're all interacting. You have six different detox organs and systems in your body and they're all supposed to be working together. 
And so if you're shutting down one, then you're giving more of a load to the other ones. Right. Because right. this one's no longer working. <laughs> you know, and yes. so if you're not taking all that into account and looking at your whole body, you can end up making a mess. <laughs> you know, <laughs> at which the doctor just throw up their hands and say, oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I learned that what you said to be a, a fact through a doctor. And um, it, they were dealing with a certain area of treatment. And then when we got to nutrition, I found out that the doctor that was dealing with the area of treatment that we were dealing with, he said, my, my values and knowledge of nutrition is so small that you need another doctor for that. And I just asked the question, well, doesn't everything work together? And he says, they really do. And he says, but the amount of time and money or interest that we have to, for us to deal with that, we have to defer to another person. And I said, but it's the body, it's the one, the person that needs that. And he said, yes, it's unfortunate. And so I go back to say, what you just said is what a doctor told me. And I appreciate hearing that from you. Now I wanna to try to pull everything together in another area. When a person comes to you and they present their brain for enhancement or for, for boosting it, what can we expect? What, 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 are you, what, are, what are we looking for? Are we looking for just to be able to, to think a little better or is there something that we can look for, some improvement that we can see? What, we, what can we expect? Yeah. yeah, well, it depends. You can, I mean, the sky's the limit in terms of your brain improving. Now, I'm not saying you're gonna improve to the, to the point that you still can do everything that you were doing when you were 16, but there can be improvement. But the, the, one of the keys with brain health and with so many other things is consistency, regularity. You know, you can't just hit it and quit it type of thing. You're gonna to have to commit to doing some things, to tweaking your lifestyle in certain ways. And over the course of time, like I said, it's not, no, it's not an instantaneous type of thing. So that's why with the course that I have, I, I stay with you and carry you, try to help carry you through to keep you on point, you know, because you can't like, first of all, exactly uh, one example is sleep. Sleep is one of the hardest areas to change. You know, you develop certain sleep habits and they're very hard to change. And it can take up to 10 weeks. The researchers say, do not stop doing something, allow 10 weeks of consistency before you decide that that's not working for you. And a lot of people, you know, may or may not be willing to do that, which is like a lot of times you need that accountability. You need that extra person alongside you that know what you said that you were going to do. <laughs> you know, okay. And help hold you to that. Mm -hmm. So you know. now, now that opens up the door for uh, your coaching technique. How do you coach? What do you do? How, if I were to sign up and want to come in and have, uh, have my brain enhanced, what do you do as a coach? Um, first, I, I have the, I have the, what I call the dis discovery method. First, I kind of, I assess that you see, take a, a, a short quiz or test to kind of see where you are, for you to see where you are, for me to see where you are, you know, and what things are, are weak and what things are stronger. So we kind of assess and see where you are in that specific area. I separate all of the areas, the nutrition, the exercise, they're all distinct areas that we separate for testing and planning, but then it all works together in terms of your program. But so we, we're going to assess and see where you are. And then okay. we're going to discover, we're going to, I'm going to show you a lot of different options, little cho choices you can make. And I'm going to see which ones you are more than likely to do. Because you know, and I know, you can sit with somebody and tell them all day about what they should be doing and what they need to do. And while you're talking to them, they may be looking you straight in the eye saying, thinking to themselves, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh -huh. And so, we're, so that's just a useless conversation. So I have to know from the individual of all these things that I've shown you, you know, what resonates with you? What things are you willing to try and what things are you willing not to try? You know, and we can sit and we can talk about that so we can find a unique, specific plan that you are committing to, to implement. And then we have the monitoring, the mentoring. I help you with your pain points because some things are easier said than done. 
you know, you may have fully intended to do that, but you may slip and slide a little bit. So I help you with that. I'm available in terms of um, access to me in terms of seeing what the issues are and how to make adjustments with you and also helping you monitor your progress and those kind of things. And so I try to not just, you know, some programs just give you all the information and then they leave you, you never see them or hear from them again. You know, I don't believe in that because I know for me, I, as well intended as I am, you know, I kind of need, you know, some accountability and, you know, some mon monitoring and mentoring. And so that's what, that's how I do. So I, if I heard it right, you said you give an assessment to find out where the person is, that's going to determine where you go in or where you uh, direct the attention to. And then you come along and work with them for accountability so that you can see where they are, they are and they can see where they are. And you stay with them so that you can get them to the next level and to the next level. That's what I, if I, if I heard anything, I heard it that way. Now I got to ask the bonus and the big question is, who can stand to have their brain sharpened? Is that an everybody question? That's an everybody question all the way down to infants. When babies are born, research studies show that when babies are born, they already have an excess of 200 toxins in their bloodstream. So what do you think those toxins are doing? When mothers are nursing their children, whatever they're, well, you know what the mother eats, you know, goes to the baby, that, that includes toxins. That includes all the, the things, preservatives and things that are in the foods. So that includes all of that. Um, children have the, you know, are developmental. And when children are exposed to the same amount of toxins that an adult is exposed to, it has a, 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 a more da uh, di uh, a, a neg more negative effect on the child just because of their body size and because their brain is still developing. So you are never, when you're, when you're, you know, a senior citizen, your brain, you're still getting new brain cells, but your brain cells are, are, are also dying off. Okay, so you're gonna have to balance that with nurturing your new cells so that they don't die off and your old ones die off when you're not left with a whole lot because everything's dying off, okay? So you still need to continue to nurture your brain just like you were nurturing a child's brain, you need to nurture an, a senior citizen's brain so it can still function at its best. So you're never too young, you're never too old, it's never too late, it's never too early. Like you said, so everyone, everyone can <laughs> Everyone can benefit from a, a brain enrichment program is what you're saying then, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, and then there's an environment that a, a, a brain thrives in, and you're going to show, teach, tell us what that environment is so we can know when we're there and we know when we're falling out and we can do whatever we need to get back into it. Now, I, here's one of the things that happened during the pandemic. It appeared that there was isolation uh, and it also appeared that there's one of the uh, side effects of COVID and I'm not a doctor, so I'm just speaking on things that I hear. It's called brain fog. Mm -hmm. Do you deal with uh, brain fog in your uh, brain sharpening program? Do you mm -hmm. deal with that? Yes, yes, okay. because that's part, you know, that's part of the problems with the people, or a lot of people are having. But here's the beauty of it. If you concentrate on what your brain needs, N-E-D-S, that's going to deal with all of that. That's why it's so exciting to know. And that's why I'm, I'm with the program, I'm so excited because once you know and have access to what to do, even when you slip and slide, because we're not all perfect, you know, even when you slip and slide and don't do things, you know how to get back on track. I had a friend of mine tell me, this was years ago, that the doctor was going to put her on some kind of medication if she didn't um, raise her cholesterol or something, the problem she had you know, in the next um, three months or something like that. And she came to me, she said, you know, Bernice, he says he's gonna put me on medication. I don't wanna go on medication. He's given me three months, but he didn't tell me what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do, you know? And so, and that's so true for so many people. So many people, they just accept brain fog, men memory lapses, whatever's going on, um, sleep issues, 
what it weight gain, diabetes, whatever they accept it as, oh well, I guess I'm getting old, or you know, that's the luck of the draw. No, <laughs> that's that's not the right attitude. It, it happened, but it a lot of that can be corrected, improved upon, you know, restored if you know what to do and you're willing to do it. I really like hearing that because what you just said is so fascinating. Uh, how often you hear it, um, I guess I'm getting old and there's a, a, there's just an acceptance of whatever getting old is and there's some acceptance that some of the performance just goes away with age. And I'm hearing you say you can fight back, you can challenge, you can get up, you can have the br your brain sharpen. And one of the things you need to do is to know how to do it. And I really appreciate this is that you say you go along with them in the program so that you can help them sharpen their brain. Mm -hmm. Now, I did make, uh, bro I introduced the concept that um, the pandemic put so many people in isolation. And this, do you deal with the, the person who's been in isolation or does your program help uh, to be able to strengthen the brain so that they can handle uh, coming out mm -hmm. and dealing with the fact that they were in? Right, right. And those deal basically with those two areas, um, engagement and de-stress. And those are two parts of what every brain needs. And that's part of what happened with the pandemic. There was limited opportunity to engage, you know, and a lot of people were, had distress because they were depressed or lonely or scared or whatever it was. And those are two areas that you need to be conscious of when it term, comes to taking care of your brain. So if they did not take care of themselves in those areas during that time, then yes, they experienced some traumatic things happening in their life. But the flip side of that is once they know what to do, how to engage, and the fact that they do need to engage. Some people, you know, they just shut themselves up and they didn't think they could, they could um, socialize or whatever, and they didn't know that they needed to find a way to socialize, be it you know online, be it Zoom classes or something, be it on the phone, be it whatever you know, or the same thing with um, distress, you know, with, with we deal with detox and and this distress thing, and you need to have some relaxation, me time, Calgon, take me away type of regular experiences to not fall into you know, depression and, and anxiety and worry and all of that kind of thing. So we deal with, with those areas and that specifically speaks to people that may have um, suffered from um, the fact that they were, you know, in the pandemic. Yeah, I have two more things that I wanna deal with. One, uh, one is just a, something that I wanna mention. Uh, and the fun thought that I had while listening to you, I said to myself, Boy, it would have been nice to have known you when I was raising my kids. <laughs> However, they're raised now. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Uh, now, now I'm glad I know you so that I can deal with the residuals of what they did to me. But <laughs> here's the thought. I read a book and it was a gentleman. He, they called him uh, the, the, the young man with the broken brain. And they assessed it, him to not be able to do anything. He now today, I haven't given you his name. He has a book out, many books out. He's, he's actually taught presidents uh, how to make speeches. He's worked throughout Congress. He's done so many wonderful things. And it was after reading that book when I connected with you and I found out that the brain just, just does not have to languish. It can be enhanced, it can be strengthened and it can be empowered, but you need to know how to do it. Then I met you and I found out you were doing it. And I said to myself, I think everybody and everybody should come alongside and know that you don't have to just flower away in you, as you age. Or, and the other thing that you addressed it earlier, when there's a symptom or a sign of something not functioning right with your brain, you don't have to be silent about it and let it take over. You can actually deal with it and you can take over it. So now my question is, how does somebody get in touch with you? I mean, they can see your face on TV, but how do they get in touch with you so they can say, 
I want to have my brain empowered. I want to be sharper. How do they get in touch with someone? With the, the, the easiest way to connect actually is through my website because I have a free master class that has scheduled. It, they, it lasts about an hour, hour and a half. And um, you schedule a time and you can do that on my website. Also, I have a, uh, a, a better brain quiz that you can take that's also free that you can take and answer the questions and get a summary report on how your brain's doing. And there's also a contact page where you can get a hold of me and just um, email me and we can connect that way. But once you take those um, classes and things and we, we kind of stay connected kind of things. So I have a Facebook group and I have a, a newsletter. My newsletter issue one is coming out this month. So when I get your email, then I will um, see if you want to sign it for that and you can start getting that on a monthly basis. But I would go to my, my website, keepyourbrainsharp.com and sign up for one of those freebies and we can start our relationship rolling from there. Now, uh, and I, a thought came to me, so before it leaves, uh, you know, because I got to sharpen my brain. <laughs> Do you work by yourself or do you employ other assistants? Do you have other ways where you can get information out? Is it, can you tell us as to how this, the classes work? Get, give us a little how that works. Yeah. Well, in terms of the class itself, you get me and I am I am the speaker and the teacher for all the classes and it's on my um, masterclass Zoom, it's live. And so I, I leave that with you in my course that you can sign up for that follows. I have pre-recorded videos and office hours where you get me live kind of thing. I do have uh, an assistant that does the, the techie stuff, you know, and the social media kind of stuff for me that I'm not, that is not my area. <laughs> so, you know, they help me with that kind of thing. But in terms of working with you, you, you get me. And um, I am happy and honored and find it a privilege to be able to work with people that are looking and are committed and are wanting to keep their brain sharp. You know, and you're talking about kids and things. Some of the people that take my classes have taken the information and they share it with their family members, you know, on things they should be doing so that they can start in an early age to start keeping better care of their brain. And that's like right on with that. I like that. I really like that. At this point, I want to say, I want to thank you for coming into the studio. I want to thank you for expressing to people a hope that many people would love to grab on, grab hold of, that you don't have to lose your brain just because you have one and you've used it. You can use your brain and it can become stronger. You can empower and sharpen your brain. I wanna thank you for coming in and expressing that to people. I'm hoping that everybody listen, uh, everybody has a brain and I'm hoping that everybody will come through and say, can you help me sharpen my brain? Thank you, Amen. Bernice. Thank you. You are so welcome. It was a privilege and an honor to do this with you, Morris. I appreciate you inviting me. Thank you. All right.